is really kind of the heart of our sustainability feature of this building. This is the ground source heat pump, and this is where the pump, the, the piping comes into the building. There are 360 well fields out underneath the baseball field, 300 feet deep. That brings, the water pumps through all of those pipes, and the earth is keeping the water to one or two degrees temperature of what's needed inside this building. So as it comes in here, the equipment doesn't have to work real hard to keep the energy cost in this building. So we're letting the earth help us keep the water at the temperature that we need. This TV screen that you see that's just been put up here today is, is a very exciting uh, feature of this building. This building is a teaching tool. They're, all of the systems, they're working on the graphics that are going to show how the water is being pumped. It's going to show where the cold water is going and the hot water is going. And it's all going to be on that screen where students can see that. Well, students aren't always going to be right out here in this vestibule looking at the TV screen. But all of that is going to be able to be accessed by the teachers on their laptops in the classroom. So we want the teachers to be able to teach the students here at Kendall DePoli what makes this building sustainable? How, how do you use green energy in a building? So again, this is a really exciting feature that, that we're putting in for the kids to use. Was that this building is being estimated to be, the utility cost of this building will be 60% less per square foot than our middle schools that we built in the 1990s. 60% less. So not only did we build this at 210 a square foot at a, at a very reasonable cost, we are saving the school district a lot of money in the general fund for a lot of years to come. One thing I'd like to talk about is the team concept in teaching. Um, here at Washoe County School District, we do use the team teaching concept. This is the 7th and 8th grade wing. I'm only going to take you through one floor. In 7th and 8th grade, they have a four-teacher team. And that teacher teaches, you know, there's a math teacher, science, uh, social studies, and English. So you have four teachers. This is a team room, and it was built in a way that you could get all four teams in here at once. So if that four team, classes. four classes, okay, <laughs> but he's right, Sorry. there's such teams there's and classes and teachers, and, yeah, but all of those four classes could come together, and if those teachers decided they're going to work on a project, because a lot of times they are working together on a project, and let's say they're going to do the Donner Party mm -hmm. this week, so the English kids are going to write about it, the math kids are going to decide how fast did those wagons get over the hill, uh, the science teacher said, whoa, what went wrong with the weather? You know, things like that. Okay, so they come all together in this room, and that's what this room is all about, is to create that environment so they can have team teaching in this room. Um, each floor, so you have a 7th and 8th grade wing on this side, and you'll see the 6th grade is on that side. They are on the upper floor of the other side. So there is some distance between the 6th graders and the 7th and 8th graders. For a little bit of that, it's just good to have some distance. Um, they do share some of the public areas, but I think some parents just like the fact that there's a little bit of distance there. Um, each floor each has a computer lab, a resource room, and a teacher work area. Um, a couple of things I want to mention about the features of, the, of a standard classroom. One of the things is that you'll notice there's an operable window, and that is a lead item. And what you know, the, the sustainable building item is that a, a occupants of a room should have control of the air flow in their classroom if they need it. So you do have see the escape hatch right there. Um, that's for the teachers. Just the, <laughs> um, the lighting is state of the art. Um, right now, because it's darker today, both of these are on. But on a sunny day, when the lights come in here, you'll see that bank of lights will be off and just this one will be on. And I've been in here when that's happened and it is an even light throughout this entire classroom. So we're trying to, again, trying to use the least amount of energy that we can. Even, as I keep mentioning, this building is all about learning, even down to the paint. This paint was, these paint, and you think, wow, that's green. <laughs> and that green paint has actually been proven to in, you know, encourage better learning. There has been a study, there's, and all of the paint that you see throughout this building was proven in that study to encourage learning. So even down to the paint, we were thinking about it. Yeah, I feel bright and It's good to notice how Glenn matches his paint. Walking portfolio for teaching and learning. Good job, Can you see me now? Can you see me now? There's the interactive whiteboard. Um, that has become a standard, not only on our new schools, yeah. but all of our older schools, as we're revitalizing, all of the classrooms in our older schools are getting the interactive whiteboard. Um, last year, uh, I was fortunate to be involved with a project where Cannon, Rita Cannon was our first school we'd revitalized in our older schools. And, oh, those little kids at the elementary were so excited to be involved with the interactive whiteboard. And for any of you who may not know what that's, what that's about, the teacher hooks her laptop, her or his laptop to that, 
They can either work off of lesson plans they have on their laptop. They can even access off the internet. There could be some, some websites where they're picking up information. What's the, uh, the students can even walk up to the interactive whiteboard and touch it and when they're, they're learning things on there. What's, what's really amazing is how fast the teacher can be moving things on that whiteboard because that's how our students learn today. It's all happening very fast for these kids, so they just love it. It's also the TV receiver. Yeah, so that, yeah, you'll notice there's no TVs in here, so they're going to show any of theirs through their laptop and, and through that. Yeah. We have wired and wireless technology in this building um, because some of our software still demands wired technology, so we have the ability to do both. We have low E glass. Um, you'll see that structure right there above, uh, the, the mullion, is a light shelf. And um, you're going to see a better view of that outside. But that is a wonderful green feature of this building, is it controls the light of what's coming in and out of the classroom. In the winter, we want to encourage more light to come in. In the summer, we're trying to block some of that with the heat. Um, from the outside, you're going to see the structure of those is, is really interesting when we walk on the outside of the building.